you know what you're having for lunch today? Or it's hoping time goes like this for lunch. Okay. Today I'm gonna show you what I'm having for lunch. And it's not a sandwich, you know. <laughs> and look, it's only a plate. <laughs> okay. And they're wrapped in a sort of leaf. The filling can be meats, cheeses, fruits, or vegetables depending on the region and taste. Tamales originated in Mesoamerica, known today as Mexico and Central America, around 8000 BC. The tamales were created because there was a need for portable food, and women were often taken along as cooks along in, in armies, and so they created this dish to feed the multitudes. Uh, many varieties of this dish of this dish exist. Why? Because indigenous tribes had to use whatever resources they had available. For example, in Mexico, the tamales are usually wrapped in corn husks, and the filling is chicken in a red or green salsa. But in countries that are in Central America, like El Salvador, like this Salvador tamale, uh, the climate region is tropical, so the tamales are wrapped in plantain leaves, like this one. And they're filled with chicken, potatoes, um, peppers, and olives. A lot of work goes into making tamales. And so usually tamales are reserved only for the festivities, like um, Christmas, New Year's, and any uh, national holiday. Now that I've given you a bit of history of a tamale, I will now explain why this dish is important to me. Uh, my mom learned how to make tamales from her mother, and she's trying to teach my sister and I how to make them so we continue this tradition. Um, I help her clean the leaves and then warm them up, and then I help her peel potatoes and slice them, which will go inside of tamale. Um, it, it, this dish is important to me because my mother only makes tamales on Christmas, New Year's, my birthday, and my sister's birthday. And these are the few times in the year where we actually get together and sit together and have a real meal. We all have different schedules. Um, and we, we all, I eat dinner by myself, or my sister eats dinner by myself, and we never get to sit down together. And I don't get to see my family often either, so during these times of year, our birthdays and Christmas and New Year's, they come over, my family and friends come over, and they, we sit around and talk about their memories and our memories and how the tamales remind them of their youth in El Salvador and how times were much simpler than they are today. So today we learned how meaningful tamales are in my culture. First, I gave you a brief history and I explain why this dish is important to me. So the next time you see tamales, ask yourselves this. Um, could it be someone's birthday? Or is it a special holiday that you know about? You may just be witnessing something more meaningful than you 